Neil and Jennings here from Asian Persuasion MMA. I'm here for the one lightweight champion, Christian Lee, who defends his title against Timothy Nastyukin on one on TNT one on April 7th. Christian, how are you? How's the journey to Singapore? I'm doing good, man. Uh, the journey over here to Singapore was great. Uh, I'll settled in in the hotel and I'm ready to go. I imagine compared to the usual days, you've got a smaller team with you with the COVID restrictions, pregnancies. How is that affecting you having a smaller team? Um, yeah, you know, it's a smaller team this time, but it's great. You know, we're here for business. I got my dad here with, as my coach, got my, my little brother here as my training partner. Um, and it's a great setup we got. We're just here to get the job done and go back home to our family. We're talking to family, Victoria, your sister made her successful champion, one championship debut recently. How proud of you of, of you were you of Victoria? Uh, so extremely proud of Victoria. And, you know, it's just amazing that at 16 years old, she was able to go in there, stay composed, stick to her game plan and finish her opponent. And, you know, she wasn't going in there with, with just a feeder. She was going in there with an experienced opponent and she was able to do an amazing job. So very, very proud of her. As we know, you have a baby on the way. How important was it for you to compete one more time before your, your little daughter comes into the world? Uh, I'm so, so excited uh, for the birth of my baby girl. Um, but, you know, man, when, when work, when, um, you know, business calls, I got to go to work. So after this one, I'll be looking forward to having a nice, nice little layoff, uh, spending the time at home with my wife and my baby. Um, and as soon as I get the job done um, on fight night, I'm going to be looking for the first flight home back to my baby. I think the next question, will you have a little bit of time off? Obviously, you love co to compete. You love to be in the gym. But I guess when it comes to family and having a, a new little daughter, that changes things. Absolutely. There's nothing more important to me than family. And after this one, um, I will be taking some time off to, to enjoy with my wife and my baby. Obviously, your sister Angela, she's also pregnant due. I think about what they're one week apart. It's obviously pretty crazy. So we have the one Atomite Grand Prix going ahead starting next month. Do you keep much of an eye on, on your sister's rivals and what's happening in, in, the, in the women's atomite division? What are your thoughts on that atomite Grand Prix? Um, well, I, you know, I do play a big part in helping my sister get ready for her matches. And um, so, you know, I start to pay attention when she has a specific opponent lined up in front of her. And that's when I'll help her get ready and get a game plan going. Um, with the Grand Prix, I think it's great that they're doing that because there's no clear contender in her division. You know, she's won the inaugural belt uh, for the women's atom weight division. And, you know, since then, she's really taken out all of the, the major contenders in that division. So I think it's great that they're doing a tournament to see who's the clear contender. And once there's somebody that climbs up to that number one spot and is ready to challenge my sister, that's when I'll, I'll start to take notice and, and get her ready for that. Sort of specific opponents, obviously you're facing, you're defending your title against Timothy Nastyukin. What are your thoughts on him as an opponent? I think Timothy is a very dangerous opponent. You know, he's a very skilled competitor and he's done very well in his career in one championship so far. Um, you know, I think he's going to be looking to, to bring his A game. He's going to be looking to take my head off in there. And I'm very prepared and I'm very confident that I will finish the night with my hand being raised. Well, you got Eddie Alvarez competing on the one on TNT one card. He's been making some comments recently, a little bit of trash talking. Do you take much notice of that? And, and just if someone does give a little bit of trash talk, does that motivate you more? Um, yeah, you know, I did, did take a little bit of notice to, um, to Eddie uh, screaming to get a title shot. And, you know, I think that's great. You know, he's, he's done a lot in his career. And so, yeah, I understand why he feels entitled to a title shot. But in any organization, you, you got to be on a winning streak before you get a title shot. And so um, I think it's great. He's fighting uh, Yuri Lapikis, my former opponent. He's a great fighter himself. So um, I think Eddie's definitely got his hands full in that fight. And, you know, he, he needs to stay focused on that match. And, and then we can see from there. That's my next question. Go. How do you see that fight playing out? Hopefully you've just fought Lapikis. Do you have a good inside knowledge there? I think it's going to be a tough match. Honestly, um, I don't see uh, one fighter having the clear advantage over the other. 
Um, you know, Eddie has more experience, but Yuri's, Yuri's dangerous. He's always looking to finish the fight. So, um, you know, I, I, would, I would give it a 50-50 chance on, on either fighter getting their hand raised that night. There's another key lightweight belt coming up. Lowen Tainan is taking on Peter Boost. How do you see that one going down? That's two potential opponents for you down the road. One of them, obviously, in your backyard. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think that's going to be a great fight as well. You know, um, I see that fight probably ending in a decision. Um, but I do see um, they're, they're both tough competitors. You know, um, it's either going to be Lowen taking down Peter, or it's going to be Peter keeping it on the feet and out pointing Lowen. So um, that, that one can really go either way as well. It's pretty evenly matched. I guess you're keeping your eye on the featherweight division. Obviously, the, the night you defended your title, the title changed hands. What's your thoughts on the featherweight division and the new champion, Than Lee? Um, you know, I think Tan did a great job um, in his performance that night to win the belt. Um, I also think there's a lot of great fights coming up in the featherweight division. So, um, you know, we'll see. I heard Tan wants to fight, but um, I know he's got his hands full in his division himself. So, um, I think it's going to be interesting how that division shakes out in the next few few months. And you're, you're on another stack card. You, you're fighting on one on TNT two, TNT two, not one. As my mistake in the beginning. Um, yeah, you're headlining that. How excited is it to be competing on a on a historic series as you are, and for your friends and family to watch your fights at a nice time in the US? Uh, you know, I'm very excited and I'm very honored to be headlining a show um, on TNT Network. You know, I'm I'm happy that. I can just tell my friends and family back home in Hawaii to, you know, turn on TNT on prime time and watch me compete. So um, just very excited to be putting on a show and I'm grateful for the opportunity. Uh, headlining one on TNT one is DJ versus Adrian and Marias, obviously Marias defending champion. How do you see that one going down? Uh, you know, they're both amazing fighters and I really think that, that fight is just going to come down to who can implement their game plan better because, um, you know, I see that as the real fight for the number one flyweight in the world. You know, uh, DJ, he's, he's done an amazing job with defending his title multiple times uh, over in the UFC and Adriano has defended his title multiple times over here in one championship. So this is really like uh, the first super fight between uh, you know, one championship and UFC and really the fight to see who's the best flyweight in the world pound for pound. So um, I'm going to be really excited for that match. I, I don't know who's going to come out on top in that matchup. Really. Um, I could see, I could see either man finishing the other and I could see either man coming out with a very close decision because I feel like they're both two tough fighters who are, are pretty evenly matched. So um, it, it's a toss up and, and I'll be excited to tune into that one. Lastly, how do you envision yourself getting your hand raised and defending your title come April 14th? Uh, you know, I see myself getting my hand raised with a first round, first round finish over Timothy Nastikin. Thank you. Can't wait. Good luck. Thanks for your time today. All right. Thank you, Leon. Cheers. Thank you. Appreciate it.